Hello Sagittarius, how are you doing? Welcome to your love reading at this time. I hope all is well. Let's take a look and see what's happening with you in love in the current energy. This is timeless, so whenever you watch this is when you watch it. All right, so my beautiful Sagittarius, what's happening in love at this time overall? We have the moon here, still trying to figure it out. Still trying to figure out this person's intentions. Still trying to feel this person out. Still trying to get a understanding of what's happening here. Is this is this something that's moving? Is this stagnant? How do you feel? So I feel like if you're connecting with a new person, I feel like you're still trying to figure out this person's intentions. You're still trying to figure out, you know, where is this going more so? You know, can I trust this journey? Can I trust this person? So there's this energy here with the moon and something could have happened during that Cancer moon. I know we have coming up, I believe, something in Capricorn. Some of you could be connecting with a Capricorn or you're on the cusp to some degree or you have a Capricorn moon placement, Venus. But there's something about trying to figure out where is this going in some sort of stability with this connection, right? Is there stability within this connection? And again, what is this person keeping from me here? All right. Spirit is saying, of course, listen to your intuition. Stay close to your intuition. Stay connected with your intuition and it will not fail you. All right. So the moon aside here. And there's also an energy right when I touch that. There's like something with trust. You know, I've had some situations in my past that really you know showed me a lot about trust and now I'm trying to figure out if trust is something that I could put in within this connection you know but if I trust myself the answers will be there regardless right the more I trust myself the more I understand what I'm feeling okay how does this person feel about Sagittarius currently how do you feel about Sagittarius how do you feel about Sagittarius they get a very peaceful energy with you. You could be very silent, laid back. Um, some of you are in the space where it's like, I'm drama free at this time. I want the I want peace. I'm not in a space of trying to um, indulge in confrontation or indulge in energies that are chaotic. They could feel, they probably more than likely feel that there's a lot of things that are different about you as opposed to the people that they've connected with in the past and the people that they're currently connecting with. So you bring this person some sort of peace, healing. I feel like this is more so one of those things where it's like, I have to try to get on your level. I have to try to match your energy. So this could be someone here again that is a bit, I don't want to say unstable, but I feel like they just feel something different with you. They feel as if like you could change things around for them. You could make things different. But they're wondering, can I truly trust this piece? The last piece that I tried to, tr last piece, the last piece that I tried to trust here didn't really bring me in balance, didn't bring me clarity. It ended up in uh, a toxic relationship. Or again, this person may not trust their intuition at times. But I do sa see Sagittarius, they're looking at you as different, peaceful radiant okay someone that just isn't in the place of wanting to to stir up conflict in a sense here anything else that they may be feeling about sag here yeah they're they're observing you deeply observing you so don't be surprised sagittarius sun moon venus rising set you know venus and sun that someone here is really really trying to observe you they're they're watching their words with you they're watching their actions they're not moving rapidly. This is someone here that thinks about you a lot, but they're like, is this the real you? So they're questioning if your energy is actually authentic, actually. They're trying to figure out, like, are you always this peaceful? Like, are you always like this? Or, you know what I mean? Like, is this what you really want? So Sagittarius, you could be giving up off of a vibe where it's like, I don't want any smoke today. OK, I'm not going to chase you. I'm really just going to sit and meditate and be at peace here. So, again, this person could be watching you on social media. They could be, again, just observing the things that you say. Uh, so basically, you're on surveillance with them. All right. I don't know how that makes you feel, but I'm just letting you know that this is someone here that's like, I, I got to get to the bottom of Sagittarius's energy and also trying to figure out, you know, what you're going to do as well. How is Sagittarius feeling about this person? All right, so if you're a cross watcher, I guess you get a peek, right? 
So how is Sagittarius really feeling at this time? So Sagittarius, I do feel like you are in a place where you want to, you know, offer longevity, love, stability. You have an openness for this person. I feel like you're allowing this person to take the lead. And I also feel like you're trying to see, is this something that is going to work for me? Like you're looking at it like, okay, wait, hold on, Sag, like pull back for a minute and let this person show you if they're wanting to move at the same pace with you. So you may be in a space where it's like, yeah, I am attracted to this person. I am interested in this person, but I also want to see exactly how this person courts me, how this person shows me that they love me. I want to see how this person decides to move forward with things. So you could be in a space where you're putting yourself on hold or you're sacrificing this impulsive like energy. You know how Sagittarius likes to go after things. I feel like you're in a space where you're like, you know what, I'm going to sit back for a minute and I'm going to analyze and I'm going to see if this is something that's going to bring in this relationship, this 10 of cups, this Wow. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups and the Hierophant. So Sagittarius, I feel like you're ready for a relationship. You're ready for stability. You want something that's stable. You want something that is a new beginning with the Ten here. All right. But you also want this energy of we have to work together as one. And I'm the only way I'm going to figure that out is to see how honest you could be to see the truth with time. So you're taking your time this this time around. Like you're really taking your time. You're not rushing into anything, which is really cool for a fire sign. I mean, they do say Sagittarius is like the older, I believe like the older sibling out of the three, the Leo Aries, right? You're the more mature one. Um, it's so funny because we're not going to go there. Yes, you're the more mature one. But I do feel like things are moving forward. There is going to be more communication here. Communication about like lessons, things that we've spoken about or things that we've been through in our past. So there is a lot of communication. You could be connecting with a Taurus, a Pisces, Scorpio, or even a, a, a fellow fire sign. But I do feel like, again, Spirit is saying, listen, you're going to feel something that is going to be very different with this person. And one of the, and it's so important to listen to your intuition because I feel like someone here isn't the best at expressing themselves, right? Whether they're doing it on purpose or not, there's something about like, I don't really express myself that well. And you may see that throughout this week where they're not really expressing themselves and they're not expressing their emotions. They're very silent with it. Okay. This person is very cautious with it. This could be a very cautious like person. Like I have to move with caution. So it's not like this person's a liar or this person is someone that you, um, have to, well, I don't know why I just heard like protect your drinks or watch your drinks. All right. For, for some of you that are just not trusting someone a hundred percent and you're going out on dates and I'm just going to say this, this may not even pertain to this connection, but if you're going out on dates and you know, you're connecting with someone or someone's wanting to cook for you and things like that, really protect yourself. Even if it's water, it doesn't only have to be alcoholic beverages or even people record, like someone recording you as you speak. Like I get someone just like wanting you to get into that really vulnerable space so they could really understand you. All right. Only thing I will say, especially if you're connecting with someone new, I know everybody's not connecting with someone new, but if you are, even someone in the past, always listen to your intuition. Always listen to your intuition. Always protect yourself. Always, you know, be mindful of what you're texting. Be mindful of, you know, do I really want to go over and, and have drinks with this person and open up and be vulnerable? I just get this energy of this person trying to, trying to hold back and see who you are and see what's going on with you as opposed to just being their authentic self is what I'm getting. All right. But in, anywho, I do feel like someone here is hiding their emotions here. They're hiding their confusion. They're hiding their doubt. I do feel like this person could be very attracted to you, but I don't feel like this person's going to come in and say, Hey, look, I'm, I'm doubting, I'm doubting my emotions and I'm going to spy on you. They're not going to say this. This is someone here that's very secretive with their emotions. And let's take a look and see why they're like this. Like why, why is this person coming off like this? Spirit's also saying like if, you know, for a lot of my Saggies, there is a relationship offer popping up here. All right. And it looks like it's going to be something that you're going to take your time with. You're going to have to really, again, see if this is someone here that also wants the same thing with you. All right. And this is not just someone trying to test you or just trying to, I don't like that vibe. It's a, it's a very interesting vibe of like, just be yourself. Just 
be yourself and show me who you are and we could go from there okay why is this person on guard to this degree why is this person holding back here yeah i feel like this is someone here that wants things to be balanced yeah i don't really get a negative vibe i feel like this is someone here that wants things to be balanced in a sense but before i start something new with you i have to make sure that you're actually going to give me the same amount that i'm going to give you so it's like you know this person could be talking to their friends about you doing research about you trying to figure out you're a mystery to this person and the more that you're a mystery the more this person's like I don't know. I, I should slow it down. I should take my time. I should investigate a little bit more here. All right. And also this could be someone here. Maybe you've walked away from in the past here. Maybe the two of you have this on and off energy here, or there could be a very deep conversation that's going to bring in a lot of truth about someone's past relationship. So if you have a conversation about someone's past relationship, it could actually bring in a lot of, you know, clarity for you to understand all right all right now i see why this person's on guard to this degree now i get it now do i want to participate in it that's free will okay that's going to be solely up to you in this energy here let's get a message for you for this week here or this time frame whenever you may be watching this i like getting messages for you also if you're interested in a personal reading okay and you're wanting to take a deeper look at your person or get a deeper look at uh, what's going on within your connection everything is below of course okay all right let's see let's take a look here and see what the messages are for my beautiful Sagittarius what is the message here at this time for Sagittarius we have happy family I'm telling you a lot of you are definitely in a space where you are dating with intention which I like you're dating with intention here you're wanting to build a relationship here I wouldn't be surprised honestly this year by the end of this year you're actually moving towards a relationship because this is all about relationships here or understanding what a relationship will um will need and require so there's something about family here someone here could want a family with you someone here could want to build with you hey or maybe family's on the mind here but i do get this energy of let's connect let's talk about children let's talk about moving let's talk about traveling let's talk about you know creating this uh, this bond with one another especially with this hair font here all right something about taurus you could be a taurus moon or you could be connecting with someone that has a lot of taurus qualities i will talk to you soon have a beautiful one like share and subscribe mm -hmm.